A very pleasant good evening, everyone. People all across America today remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream of racial equality and world peace. Les Heinz tells us how the federal holiday honoring the civil rights leader's birth was observed in Nashville. Tomorrow, but mild temperature. Love you, Daddy, and I love you, baby. You want to know? Join us for a look at what makes our city great. Well, it's been nearly 30 years since rock and roll lost one of its first heroes. Buddy Holly died in a plane crash in 1959. But two songs written shortly before his death and thought to have been lost for good are being recorded here in Nashville. Frank Mann has the story. This little-known band from Arkansas may be on the verge of an instant classic. A classic penned by the hand of rock and roll giant Buddy Holly. I hid the songs so good that it took 25 years to find them. In the 50s, Holly and Scotty Turner wrote two songs titled Am I Ever Going to Find It and September Hearts. For 20 years, those lyrics were lost, lost until Turner decided to look through an old battered guitar case. So I lifted this up, and there was the book that had been lost for 25 years. Turner chose the band Razorback to record the newly discovered songs. For them, singing and playing the notes of a childhood idol was, to say the least, overwhelming. I can't really explain it. If, I don't know. It's, you get a strange feeling. It feels a little different. Uh, it's, it's like doing a, doing a classic that's never been, that's never been cut. And so. <laughs> If you know, if you know what I mean, I don't, it's just kind of a strange feeling. Even Holly's widow was moved by the session. Her late husband's words sounding so familiar, even when sung by strangers. I mean, every artist who, who writes or uh, sings or whatever, that's what they want, to, the music to stay around, and that's what's happening. Though Holly couldn't predict his popularity today, one gets an eerie feeling from these songs. The words alone are enough to stir the imagination. Holly wrote... If you close the door to your heart and you lock all your love up behind it, how in the world, girl, are you ever going to find it? Well, seven years ago, Scotty Turner found it. And because of it, Buddy Holly may be hitting the charts once again. I've got a whole house full of things that are very important to me. But that's the most important thing I ever found in my life. Frank Mann, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Another news tonight, Vice. In a Nashville attic. Unpublished songs written by Buddy Holly, the rock and roll legend who died in a fiery plane crash 29 years ago today. Laurie Quinlivan reports tonight the newly discovered songs are being recorded in Nashville. Oh, well, I love you, Gally, I need you, Peggy. He was 21 and on top of the world. Two years later, Buddy Holly died in a plane crash that also killed Richie Valens and the Big Bopper. It was the day the music died. Now, 29 years later, Buddy Holly's music is being resurrected. September Hearts is one of two new Buddy Holly songs recorded last week in Nashville by the band Razorback. Holly wrote them with a friend from Texas who recently found them in his attic. I said, what in the name of goodness is in here? And I lifted this, and there was the book that I've been looking for for almost 30 years. Two of the songs Buddy scribbled in this book have been recorded at the request of Holly's widow, Maria. Holly was always more popular in England than he was in the United States. And it's an English record label that'll be releasing these two songs within the month. We're, we're really just recording it because of the, the topical thing of the revival of um, um, rockabilly, particularly in Europe, where this record is going to be sent to. The Beatles idolized Buddy Holly. Every English rock act will tell you that Buddy Holly is still. He did more in 18 months than anybody I've ever known in this industry has done in a career. 
Holly recorded 25 hits in his lifetime, and now there may be more. The seven other lost songs will be recorded this year as well. Here's a taste of sound to come. Whose song is moving up with a bullet? Mary Hart and John Tesh know, and they're going to share it all on Entertainment Tonight, coming up next on Channel 5. It's D-Day in France as Douglas hits Paris. Carl Weathers finds Action Jackson a challenge on many levels. Patrick Swayze is one happy fella. And the Manchurian candidate is back in the running after 25 years. All the action the law allows on Entertainment Tonight for Monday, February 8th, 1988. This is where it gets fun. Life at Attica State Prison, the man who shot John Lennon airs tomorrow night on PBS. It turns out that the music didn't die with Buddy Holly in a plane crash 29 years ago. Some material written by Holly has been discovered, and the tunes are being recorded for the very first time. When we kiss the motion, say, our love is growing strong. Two lost songs co-written by Buddy Holly are being recorded by the pop country band Razorback. Musician Scott Turner of Nashville, who collaborated with Holly, found the songs in an old guitar case he was about to throw away. When you're traveling, you put stuff where you're not going to lose it. In 1981, I went up in my attic, and here was my old Fender Stratocaster case that was destroyed by floods and everything. I was going to throw it out. Something was rattling in it. Lo and behold, underneath the padding sat this book that had been lost for almost 25 years. There are the uncompleted songs. With the blessing of Buddy Holly's widow, Maria, Turner approached Razorback with the songs. Now the group will get a chance to perform songs never heard before, written by one of their idols. We're just little Razorback bands that nobody's ever heard of us, and suddenly we'll get, you know, pitched Buddy Holly songs. So we're just extremely lucky and thankful that they chose us. Coming up next, Michael Douglas is an American in Paris. 